Building a Honda Civic is a waste of money is something that only an idiot would say. I can't tell you how ignorant of a statement that is, but I'm going to prove it at the end of this video. I bought my 1993 Honda Civic EG hatchback five years ago. You guys, my subscribers, know him as Frank. I've made over 250 videos with Frank on the channel, but just in the last 10, have I finally started to finalize this build's purpose as a street car. This car has gone from street car, to track car, to drag car, to NA car, to turbo car, to stock LS, to LS VTEC, to GSR. It has had so many different setups, but like I said, she's now finally a street car making 550 wheel horsepower. In order to celebrate the completion of the build, today we are gonna take a trip down memory lane, recapping all of my favorite moments with Frank. And guys, we are going way back to the beginning when I first met Gingium and we turboed this car together. Before we begin though, this will be the last video on Frank for a while. I don't know when this car is gonna come back on the channel. And next we're gonna be moving on to the silver K-Swap EK that has been sitting in the background of all my videos for far too long. I'm so excited to get started on that build. And one last announcement before we get started. I'm hosting a live stream tomorrow, Saturday, March 30th at 7 to 10 p.m. Central Time. It'll be right here on my YouTube channel. And the purpose of the live stream is to celebrate the completion of the Frank build and also the end of the Frank the Tank merch pre-order window. Yes, the shirt that I'm wearing right now, the pre-order will close tomorrow, Saturday, March 30th at 10 p.m. So we're gonna be closing the pre-order with you guys on the live stream. And for every shirt ordered during the live stream, I'm gonna be doing 10 push-ups right there, live in front of you guys. Hopefully I do a couple hundred push-ups, that would be pretty insane. And also, since I'll have your guys' phone numbers from your order details on my website, I'm gonna be phone calling you guys that are placing orders during the live stream. I may even call some of you guys that have already placed orders. I'm having the boys over for it, should be a good time. Uh, come hang, come pick up a shirt, might as well do it during the live stream, get yourself a shout out, and uh, let me call you and have you be in the live stream with me. I'm excited to see you guys there, I'm excited to talk to you guys, and with that being said, let's start this trip down memory lane, boys. Typical Honda owner. <laughs> Is that just like... No, don't touch it. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> Enjoy these 
Thank you. 117. What do we do? We did 12.8. Let's go. Right there, that big giant reflection you see, that's the piston ring. This one, this one, not so good, boys. Not only is it missing a chunk, there is a good amount of damage on the top of the piston. Piston number three got pretty beat up. My motor blew up. My motor's blown. All four pistons are cracked and deteriorating and falling apart. Let's go! Today, we're gonna be making the full send Turbo Civic shoot flames. This tune going, we got the tuner, we got him fed, he's happy now, all right? No animals were hurt in the making of this video. Let's do it, <laughs> let's do it. We're not quite satisfied. We're gonna shut off all the lights in the shop. I'm gonna add a little bit more fuel and see if we can get some wild flames with it being dark in here. You ever done a brake boost before? No. Or did it crack? That's my question. It looks like it might have melted because the crack looks different, don't it? Yeah, bro. I mean, I think it. I think, I think it, it melted. melted. Woo! Straight down. Are we on it? Yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, today is not the most ideal video. Uh, we do have a little bit of a situation on our hands with the fully built LSV Tech Civic. At the end of the last video, I started the car for the first time with the new turbo kit installed. I'm gonna play a clip back from the end of that video where the car is running. And if you listen closely, you will hear a, what sounds like a knocking noise. Uh, listen closely, uh, here's the clip. This is what a whole week of diagnosing a metal producing engine, metal shaving producing engine looks like. At least this is how it looks when you're on time crunch and you're freaking out and you're me. <sighs> time to reset, get ready. Today we are going to be swapping the engine on the EG once again. Best pass. I think it's probably my best pass ever. 
Oh my god, that was slow. So 2,100 pounds, full tank of gas. So that's actually probably another, you know, I could probably get another 40 pounds out of it. so far by far but wait till you see the instant replay in the cockpit <laughs> That's a win, boys. I'll take it, even if it wasn't the cleanest pass ever. That's a win. Gnarliest <sighs> burnout yet. Here goes. I'm a little pissed off you didn't run a 10. I'm, dude, I'm so pissed off I didn't run a 10 too. <laughs>
That's a brand new radiator cap. Leaking coolant for no reason. This is what I get for cheaping out. This is what I get. Man, I'm gonna can I'm canceling Dino Day. Yep. I'm gonna cancel Dino Day. Oh, that sucks so much, dude. And I broke down on the side of the road and it is 30 degrees outside. Yep. Kearney's coming to pick me up right now. I'm gonna have to fix this car on the side of the road. Well, here we are. Side of the road, swapping an alternator. I really thought we were done with these issues, so I guess not. What a pile of shit this car is. all the memories that I've made with this car over the last five years, why would anyone ever say that building a Honda Civic is a waste of money? It's just like the most ignorant thing that I can possibly think of to say about anyone's build. It's the same thing as if I were to go up to someone with like a, you know, a Toyota Corolla and be like, oh, don't even waste your money or your time building a Toyota Corolla. It's like, dude, that's, it's their car, you know? Like, anyway, what I'm trying to say here is, you know, there's so many different types of people in the world. There are people who don't do cars at all. There are people who uh, do cars but only do V8 stuff. There are people who just value certain things. And us car guys that like Honda Civics, we value building and enjoying a light, nimble, uh, powerful car that is super fun to drive. And so at the end of the day, it's like, don't even for a second consider what anybody else thinks you should do with your time, your money, your build or your life as a whole. Not your parents, not some dummy on Instagram, not your friends, not your girlfriend, not the friggin' dummies on TikTok that don't know anything. You know what I mean? Especially TikTok, oh my God. Somebody ban that app, please. The whole respect all builds thing has gone a little bit far because, you know, I'm not gonna tell some guy who's like spray painting his wheels like bright yellow that I think it's cool. Like everyone is allowed to like what they like. But at the end of the day, to tell someone that building a Honda Civic is a waste of money is, it's just so ignorant. This video title is not a response to anyone in particular. I just want to instill some confidence in those of you who are thinking about building a Honda Civic and you're worried about what your friends might think or your mom or your dad. As long as you're being financially responsible, obviously don't go pour a bunch of money into a project car if you don't have a place to live. Right, like, it just, just be logical, okay? Be sensible financially. But if a Honda Civic is the car that you wanna build, do it. But there is one caveat, and that is do not ever pick up a project car unless you have a defined end goal for the build before you even buy it. Before you even start shopping for a project car, you better know, is it gonna be a street car? Is it gonna be a drag car? Is it gonna be a road course car? Is it gonna be turbo? Is it gonna be NA? What fuel do you want it to run on? Guys, you just, you have to figure out everything for the build. How much money do you wanna spend? If you can write down your exact plan for your build on paper and stick to it, you will be a happy and fulfilled project car owner. With Frank finally complete, for the time being. I'm so excited to move on to the next build on the channel. Like I said, it's a car that's been sitting in the background of most videos for the past six months or so. It has a defined end goal. I know exactly what I need to do to finish this car and the video series is gonna be super fun. So Lord willing, the future is bright, boys. Don't forget about the live stream tomorrow, Saturday, March 30th, 7 to 10 p.m. Pick up a shirt, get a phone call from me, and I do 10 push-ups every time you buy a shirt. Boys are coming to hang too, should be a good time. Link to the merch in the description down below if you can't make the live stream and you still wanna pick one up before it's too late, don't miss out. It closes again tomorrow at 10 p.m. with the end of the live stream. I'm Boosted John, we deserve nothing, earn everything. This one's bittersweet, boys. Say bye to Frank for a little while. He's not going anywhere, I'm not selling him. I'm just gonna be making videos on some new projects. He'll still be here. And hopefully you guys will too. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs>